Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakodash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, the Holy One of Israel, whom this world ignorantly calls God. In the name of his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, whom this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and mercy to the house of David, uh, the hopeful elect, those men that are doing his work in sincerity and in truth around the four corners of the earth, presenting their body as a living sacrifice. And I have much love to the one third of you believer, believers out there. To you all, I say shalom and greetings and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Okay. Um, I just wanted to get this. Uh, There's something that was on my spirit. You know, it's been a lot of talk about uh, some things that's re recently happened, happened as far as... Uh, uh, men not being able to die. All right. And I want to say this, uh, one of the main reasons that we fear Yahweh Bashem Shai is not all, but a huge portion of that is due to fear of death. All right. Or worse, <laughs> you know, that that's a big reason that we fear Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, right? Now, I do want to uh get this as a disclaimer because uh we understand that things are done with balance. Okay? And so of course the Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear, right? But that's towards worldly things, things that can happen to us because we have his defense when we are serving him correctly. That's why he tells us he haven't given us the spirit of, spirit of fear, right? But your, your average everyday citizen is going to have a great spirit of fear, uh, um, you know, um, and fear of death, okay? But Ecclesiastes 41 and 3, it also says, Fear not the sentence of death. Remember that I have been before thee and that I come after, for, the, for this is the sentence of the Lord over all flesh. Now, we are we are you explicitly just supposed to fear death? But once again, this is for people who believe. All right. This statement is for the Lord put this in here for believers. OK, so that's why he's telling you not to fear death, because uh, um, at the end of the day, that's the Lord's sentence over all flesh. It's something that we just got to go through right now. Right now, the scriptures do say there be some that will never taste uh, taste the death again. And that's true. But you don't know who that person is, and that's not everybody. That's not all of the elect, right? But nonetheless, you have to think about the main reason, right, we fear is due to the, uh, due to the fact that we can be put to death at a moment's notice, okay? It's, it's And like I said, or worse, because the Lord can torment you, right, which some things are worse than death, Okay? Some things are worse than death, but nonetheless, you understand the idea when it comes to death, you know? And so I wanted to get, uh, this is Romans 6 and 23. It says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. You see that? So when we are, uh, do get our new bodies, right? We shall no longer sin. So therefore there shall no longer be death. But the wages of sin is death. So basically, think about what, is, what the scriptures say. The terror of the Lord is how we persuade men. So if it says the terror of the Lord, what is so frightening? What makes it so frightening? What makes it so frightening is the fact that the Lord can kill you or do terrible things unto you. Okay? Right? That, that's, that's a part of it. When you were when you were when you were smoking weed or when you was committing adultery, right? You heard brothers say things like, "Hey man, if you keep sleeping sleeping with them other men's women, you're going to die. Or the Lord's going to destroy you." Right? That that's a that's a, a, a understanding staple, right? We say those statements because to make men change from their way. So, if you don't have a uh, uh if you don't think there's a possibility that you can die, right, then you just tripping, man. And the scriptures say, tempt not the Lord, you know. But at the end of the day, the, the idea that you can die is a huge part of our fear, right? The reason why you get up and go out into those highways and byways, now, of course, we have a sense of duty, a sense of self-respect, 
a sense of uh, wanting to deliver ourselves, wanting to uh, uh, praise Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, and wanting to help the elect of our nation. We understand that's a big part of why we do what we do, right? But a huge part is the fear that the Lord can kill you from being disobedient, right? That's what it. That's what it all comes down to. Your fear is from being disobedient. You don't want to be disobedient because you know that the Lord can put you to death. Okay, you know that all too well, and that's that's how the fear of the Lord works. Proverbs fourteen and twenty seven. It says, "The fear of the Lord Yahweh is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death." You see. So you fear Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, that's how you get a fountain of life, because you're going to depart from the snares of death. You see? So why would you want to depart while of, 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 weak, of, you know, you can't die? Your fear of the Lord is not going to be the same. You know, I was even telling the brothers, in the kingdom of heaven, we're still going to fear Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, right? But at the end of the day, it's going to be more of an, a, a, a sense of respect, right? Uh, adoration. It's not going to be, oh, we're afraid because he can kill us, right? No, it's going to be a sense of respect and uh, uh, glory that we give him out of that fear, right? But we, we're not going to fear him like, oh, he's going to kill us tomorrow. No, because it says that, that what we're going to get is eternal life through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh okay? So our fear is going to be changed, if you will. But however, right now in this flesh, the fact that you can die is an extreme reason for your fear of the Lord. And if you disagree with that, then you're just being foolish, right? As a matter of fact, in Psalms 23 and 4, it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, right, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff come for me. So we, 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 the reason why we don't fear death all the time like that, it says the right shall scarcely uh, be saved, you know, but we, we, that's why we don't fear those things, because we're doing what he asked us to do. But nonetheless, yes, some men are going to have to have to die, right? But that, that those are going to be glorious deaths that men just say, hey, it's a part of the walk. It's a part of what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai have for me, right? And that don't mean you can't die just because uh, you're doing everything right. It's the, the, to the Lord belong the issues of death. But a big reason why you do these things, I mean, of course, we know famine, pestilence, plague, all of those things are, those things are, uh, 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 it says better to die by the sword than to die by famine. You see? So terrible. The Lord can give you terrible and grievous deaths. Matter of fact, let me get that one. Right? The Lord tells us how bad how bad things can get. We read in all these scriptures and we see all these things happening. You got to be aware like, hey, the Lord can do some terrible things unto you or your family. This is Jeremiah 16 and four. It says they shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine and their carcasses shall be for meat for fowls of heaven and for beasts of the earth. See that a grievous death, man. It's already thinking one thing, thinking about dying, but to die a grievous death, that's terrible, man. Right? And the Lord says he's going to put, he's going to render evil unto our people, unto our nation. Right? The two thirds and the unbelievers and the wicked. Right? These things are coming. So you can't, you can't say that, oh, I can't die, you know? That that's just foolish. Now you can say, Lord willing, we don't die. Now that that's a good uh you know, the scripture do say I shall live and not die. Okay. But that's a that's a hope, that's a prayer that we have from Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. But we know at any moment's notice we can drop dead. That's also what makes this so beautiful. That's what makes you so thankful for the fact that the Lord Ooh, I just thought of another one. You know, that's what makes everything more, uh, more precious. Let me see how you worded this. I'm looking for, um, oh, that's a good one. Oh, it's in that same chapter. 
Psalms 118. Uh, yeah, I'm going to read 17 through 18. 17 was the one I just quoted, but 18 is the one that I was thinking about. Uh, Psalms 118 to 17. It says, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. It says, the Lord hath chastened me sore, but he hath not given me over unto death. You see? It says, open to me of the, the gates of righteousness. I will go in unto them and I will praise the Lord. See, so that's what King David was happy in the fact that he wasn't going to die because of he's declaring the works of Yahweh Bashem al Shah. He's doing what Yahweh Bashem al Shah is asking of him. And then when he doesn't, he repents. Okay? The Lord, and he said, the Lord that chastened me sore. The Lord can beat you up. The Lord can do a lot of things for you, to you. But he has not given you over unto death. Right? And I'm and, and some brothers are, have passed in the truth, man. All right? But that was just the Lord's will. But to think that you, you, you're you not, that you can't die, a big part of your fear of the Lord will go away simultaneously with that thought, right? Because if you can't die, you like, oh, well, you feel untouchable. You feel untouchable. You see? And you don't, you, our bodies are, since we don't have the, the word, a uh, uh, part of our DNA yet, your flesh can't really fathom that. The fact that you you just thinking that you can't die, your flesh, your flesh can't fathom that. All right? In the kingdom of heaven, we're going to know we're not going to die, but we're going to have the proper mind, body, and spirit, right, to be able to comprehend and understand that, right? So now that's not going to make us rebellious in nature against Yahweh Hashem El Shai, but that thought alone is rebellious in nature, thinking that you can't, can't die, man. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Uh, this is, let me read, let me see this one. Kind of was hitting on what I wanted. This is Jeremiah 26 and 19. It said, did Hezekiah king of Judah and all Judah put him at all to death? Did not, did he not fear the Lord and besought the Lord and the Lord repented him of the evil, which he had pronounced against them. Thus might we procure great evil against our souls. You see? So, Hey, at the end of the day, uh, uh, you can you can be getting put to death. You can get put to death, but out of fearing of the Lord and repenting, the Lord can change that from happening. Okay, but you can you could definitely have a death day, and the Lord can make it sooner if He wants to. All right. Uh, um, that was a good one, but I'm I'm gonna. I'm going to go ahead and skip around real quick. This is a uh, Tobit 1 and 19. It says, when and one of the Ninevites went and complained of me to the king that I buried them and hid myself, understanding that I was sought for to be put to death. I withdrew myself for fear. You see, and this, these were, these were uh, men at the end of the day. But still, you see the wisdom in it. He, well, he hid himself. He withdrew himself. Because fear that he was going to die. All right? How much more fearing you how about Shemel Shai? Okay? Uh, additions to Esther 5 and 1. It says Queen Esther also, right? Uh, 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 she was Queen Esther because she was a queen to a uh, heathen uh, uh, king. Because we don't have queens in the nation of Israel. We have kings and princesses. But it says Queen Esther also, being in fear of death, resorted unto the Lord. Okay? So, hey, being in fear of death, you that that's what you do since you when you're in fear of death, that's when you if, that's when you resort to Yahweh Bashem El Shai. You you say for instance, you got something that when you about to uh get in the auto a crash and you see it, you can see it turn out, oh Lord, please Yahweh Bashem El Shai help me. Yahweh Bashem El Shai bless me, help me. Right? Or somebody got a, a gun pointed at you. How about Shemel Shah help me? You're going to be praying either out loud in your mind. You resorting to the Lord in the times of fear of death. Because you know at the end of the day, he's the one who controls it. He can decide if you're going to be dead or you're going to live. Okay? So you got to be able to get that in your head, man. You know? Anybody that has this thought process. All right? Let me see. I had a... Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes... 40, I'm going to start at 1. Uh, I'm, I'm going to read a couple of verses and I'm going to skip a couple of verses. 
just to get a point. But this is Ecclesiastes 40 and 1. Great travail is created for every man, and a heavy yoke is upon the sons of Adam. From the day that they go out of their mother's womb to the day that they return to the mother of all things. And see, that's a precept. The mother of all things is what? The earth. All right? So the day that you come out to the day that you, you're going to die, there, uh, a heavy yoke is upon you. Great travail is going to come upon you. Okay? It says, their imagination of things to come and the day of death trouble their thoughts and cause fear of heart. You see? So the things you think about that's going to come in the future, the fact that you can die someday, that's a troubling thought, and it can cause you fear of heart. You know, and that's why we pray to you, how about Shemel Shah to keep us, right? Because he said, we shall see no evil, and six troubles we shall be delivered, right? So that we don't be killed by the second death. How much more that death, man, right? We talk about the fear of the Lord. We pray to you, how about Shemel Shah, because just like, uh, the time when the water flooded the earth, we don't want to be flooded with that fire to come. That's a big part of why you praise and fear Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, so you don't get put to death. Okay. Um, it says, uh, let me see here. I'm going to jump down. I'm going to jump down to verse five. It says, wrath and envy and unquietness and unquietness, fear of death and anger and strife, and at the time of rest upon his bed, his night sleep. Do change his knowledge. You know, if you, if you, you know, when you got fear of death, it changes your knowledge. It changes how you act. It changes how you think. It changes how you move. Right? But if you think you're untouchable, then that's when shit get bad, man. All right? Like you say, uh, if he think you're untouchable, he's about to put his paws on him. You know, that's how the Lord gonna get down when you think you're untouchable, man. All right? No man is, is above. Uh, he said, this is the sentence of men upon all flesh. You see, so nobody is 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 untouchable to the point they can't be put to death. Okay. Everybody knows that. Well, people with wisdom know that. <laughs> you know. Uh, let me see here. It says, A little or nothing is his rest, and afterwards he is in his sleep as in a day of keeping watch, troubled in the vision of his heart, as if he were escaped out of a battle. Right. You, you'll be you'll be you, you got you got a, a, some kind of threat. Right. Or like Jacob's trouble. Your sleep's going to be reduced. The fact that, you know, you 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 got a threat. Dude say he's going to come around and kill you. You ain't going to be able to sleep the same, man. All right. But fear of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai is supposed to help us mitigate those fears. It helps us reduce all of that to say, hey, the Lord is going is going to help us. The Lord is going to uh, bless us. The Lord is going to get us out of this situation. Okay. It says, um, verse seven, when all is safe, he awaketh and marveled that the fear was nothing. So you marvel because now you're like, hey, man, you, you, you had, had a vision, you know, that you got put to death or something like that. You realize, like, oh, it wasn't no big deal. Okay. All right. The Lord still got me, you know, but at the end of the day, you hope that fear was nothing because he can make it very real, man. All right. It says such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast. And that is sevenfold more upon sinners. So the Lord will put the fear of death on you more and more and more of you think that you can't die, man. All right. Put you in a lot of close encounters, you know, uh, uh, near death experiences. Those change people, man. All right. How much more actual death? It says death and bloodshed. Strife, sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the, and, the, and the, excuse me, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood, man. So death is a part of that, right? Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Bashem Shah, right? So we're trying to do this thing the best we can. So that we don't get put to death. So that he don't hurt, it, hurt us or harm us, man. Okay? And the Lord tells you many times how he will put our people to death. Okay? Ah, and there was one. And oh, let me see if I can grab that real quick. And then I'll probably wrap it up after this. But, hey, man, you got to, you got to, your mind state got to be fixed when it comes to uh, the fear of death. Right? We don't fear because we got Yahweh Bashem Shai. 
right? But he says, he did say, fear not the man that can uh, kill the body, but you're supposed to fear the one who can kill the, the soul and the body, you know? So you got to fear y'all about Shemel Shah, man. He's not, he's not one to be play. He's not one to play with, man. Okay. And like I say, he can do things that are worse than death, man. You, you know, men are going to, even though that a lot of that was happening in the world wars, but he said, men are going to seek death and they shall not find it. That's going to come again. Men are going to be trying to off themselves and they're not going to be able to. It ain't going to work. Right. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 58. It says, if thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy power, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, then the Lord, Yahweh will make thy plagues wonderful, and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long continuance and sore sicknesses, and of long continuance. Moreover, he will bring upon all thee the diseases of Egypt, of which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord Yahweh bring upon thee until thou be destroyed, man. And this was, a, this was a, 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 a promise to the Lord for us being disobedient. So now we see men waxing worse and being disobedient all again, breaking the understanding of this book, man. And not fearing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right? So he's going to bring, the Lord said he can bring every sickness, every plague, right? And it's, it's no, uh, it says, uh, uh, give me any plague but the plague of the mind. That's a sickness too that can be far worse than death, man. All right? So, hey, man, the fear of the Lord is in part the fear that he can kill you at any moment. That's a part of what keeps you firm, solid and, solid, and steadfast, man. So that's just something to think about that I just wanted to get out through the spirit. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Lord willing, his sincere believers don't get put to death. And for those who do, I pray their, their deaths are, are honorable uh, um, and uh, righteously beautiful and quick and uh, uh, painless, all right, uh, in the eyes and beautiful in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Shai. But for those that are not, I pray the Lord continue and help all brothers endure to the end. So, hey, with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and mercy to the house of David, the hopeful elect. Until next time, Shalom.